Hello. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about about one question that I got. Well, the topic. Uh, quite a long time ago, but also multiple times. So, and I also wanted to um, make this video for some time already. So, and I would like to separate it into two. Uh, this topic uh, that it's about my drawing. So one would be like um, the question that I got, like how come that I draw, you know, this way, like uh, how I how did I learn it and so on, uh, that I can draw so well. And the second part would be about like uh, channeling and uh, how it happened that I'm channeling energies into the pictures. So, well, my drawing ability was kind of like a talent that I was born with. I see this as something that I was meant to do or meant to have or, or of course before I didn't know like if I was aiming somewhere but um, right now when I look back I see that of course it was also about this because I I was or I got this um, activations also to um, channel so of course there is a purpose. And if it's if it helps just one person, of course there is a meaning to it. So I believe that uh, this is also the reason why I uh, participated with, uh, let's say, my other incarnations talents <laughs> in this uh, age uh, with this. And yeah, why I'm also saying like from my other incarnations, I feel well. This is about many things but this is one thing that i strongly felt also before that um because it's just started to turn on i didn't really learn to draw i always had this intuition uh, of like how to look at things and uh how to draw it and you know it was always very intuitive for me so i guess this is not a guide for how to draw um so yeah i so I also had some kind of like a what's a synchronicity now it's called synchronicity but yeah I, I had some you know like um, feelings or attraction towards certain artists before and I was never into history or you know like in, in a general way but not even in art so I didn't study it actually even so I have no knowledge <laughs> of it but um, this one artist was something that appealed to me, to me in a various way, also with the biography and also uh, in other ways, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, I, I don't see also this like important to say like who it was. Of course, it was something someone known because you know, if it wouldn't be someone known, well known, then how could I have synchronicity? <laughs> it would be probably harder. So it doesn't really matter if uh, this synchronicity or and it's not just even like. Um, you know that I felt uh, attraction to just art. Well, actually, I didn't don't like him, his art that much, uh, but his personality. When I got also into this book uh, or got this book uh, for even it was, for, it was for free on Amazon. Like I was just I never browse like a free books on Amazon like a daily freebies. And this one day I, I decided and there was this book, you know, so I, I downloaded it and read it and I really had a lot of like a release through it. And so I felt quite like, a, you know, very similar thing that I was going through. But yeah, I guess many artists are going, or not just artists, of course, through similar things. So yeah, I, I well, my talent was already visible or teachers saw it when I was already three years old but yeah when I when I look at those pictures I don't see anything special uh, but yeah after a few years or so it was obvious really that for example I I was also intelligent and uh, I started to draw into perspective it's like when you know small kids are drawing into like a forefront or like one line and everything is just in the same um, distance like uh, from viewer and i was already well four or, or five when i was uh, drawing into per perspective and usually children of uh, like an, in a general way uh they start to do it uh, when they are 12. 
and some never do it so, like my sister this is my sister's creation when she was old older already or adult and uh, it very much uh, looks like her childhood, you know, drawings. <laughs> so she didn't progress very much. Um, so, um, yeah, my pillow, I love it. <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah. So obviously there was a talent. So when when I was five, also um, I started to attend like a school, after six school. It's, it's called like a primary artistic school, but it's basically just course, you know. And I was going there just uh, once in a week and for two hours. And um, this was going for, you know, 10 years. And usually children start this from age of six, but I was, I, I went, went there when I was five and uh, I was uh, in a class with all the children they they started to go one year sooner and they were all like uh, extremely talented let's say you know and yeah i remember that at, at that age i enjoyed like drawing uh just you know i outline of very di difficult objects and just one you know line uh, i i was just uh, yeah this is also the process like uh uh, what artists, uh, when they are drawing from like environment, what they need to see is angles and stuff. So I was probably already training that because I, when you need to draw an outline, you need to look at the very like specific points and like how it's turning, you know, and how the angles are changing and so on. So that's what I was drawing. So I remember this uh, day when they like, uh, I had a best, you know, or <laughs> how to call it. Uh, he, put uh, the teacher put uh, like a very like a complicated teapot in front of me like a, i don't know what type of you know, historic kind of like and they're not like you know like a circle or something it was some more you know complicated and i also drew it like in one line but i was so focused like on, on it <laughs> and, uh, and then when i i remember like how i uh, zoomed out when i finished the line the circuit and i was like oh. It, it was, you know, like a this way, you know, like uh, under the window. It was enough for a teacher that I was crazy, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so, or crazy, you know, genius probably. Um, yeah. Also, my IQ is pretty high. Uh, when I was, uh, you know, 16, I was also uh, on uh, this kind of test. But, you know, uh, at this point, I, I'm not able to do those tests. So, um it's my brain is completely uh, working in a completely different, different way and so yeah um then i was attending school uh for some years well then as i said and um already two years i was going there like i was pushed to go there one one year was because like my mom was saying like finish just you know like a first like a grade of uh, this artistic school because it takes like uh nine years or so and then uh the second year when i was pushed into it was uh, because of like a preparation to like um exams to enter the high school or uh, that was for um, like uh, so something I, I i don't know how to say it in english but uh, like uh, artists that are creating like a digital art for like uh, i don't know maybe banners or whatever something like that uh locals maybe uh but yeah i eventually went into uh, grammar school but uh, this was like a safety <laughs> safety route for me or for my mom she was choosing it and it was uh, funny also to me like okay she chose like a pretty prominent like uh, um you know school or the program and it was like pretty low chance to get there and she was already choosing it like she knew that i was too good and so on like this is like a sure thing that you will get there if you don't get to grammar school but you will go to grammar school anyway uh if you will you know, get it. so and uh, so yeah i i got into that uh, also uh, into that artistic you know high school but uh, i was also you know like su successful in grammar school so that's where I went, and then I, after this, when I was pushed into it for two years, I was happy to stop. <laughs> so yeah, I was 
15 then, yeah, from 5 to 15, yeah, it's 10 years. So I was happy to stop and so then also like my creativity and you know I was also bored there that's why I was not enjoying it we were doing all the time the same and I didn't feel like progressing or I was not motivated that's what I saw a year after I stopped like I didn't draw at all I drew something that I wanted I, I guess not for a person of course when I was a ch child I was drawing because I wanted but um uh, yeah, I drew something that was meaningful for me, and it was some por portrait, and it was with a pencil, you know, black and white. And I was surprised by my talent, you know, like when I want, I can be pretty realistic, you know. I was like, wow, well, wow, well, I can draw like this. Uh, so yeah, it, of course, it, it needs patience, but yeah, um, even on, on yeah, I will get a little bit back. Like for example. When I was uh, go, uh, doing those exams on um, into that artistic school, uh, you no, know, some and you know, like we were also communicating because I was uh, also going there like uh, for almost a year or half half of the year for like a preparation into that exact school. So I knew those people, and uh, we, we were supposed to draw something yeah, similar. And I, I simple, I mean. Uh, it was some bucket and some you know, brush and I was it was too much to draw like in one hour on like a A3 or I don't know like a very big paper so I just focused on something that I thought that they would be interesting in how I would be drawing so for example this brush uh, not any uh, or all of them could uh, draw it in like a realistic way and I, I, for me it was simple and this is where I saw the reflections from the other, like how they are doing it, how they are treating it. And for me, it was really all, always so natural. Like I, I look at look at the texture and how it looks and so on. And I can <laughs> I didn't know, but yeah, this is kind of like a merging and like a, with the vibration and energy of it and embodying it and then just drawing it because and my I, I had this in my hand in a way. Like I knew what stroke I need to do, how to hold the pencil, how fast, this is all these things that um, you need to like, um, I don't know, maybe some need to learn, but for me it was like, you know, I knew like how to uh, get that brush, you know, you know, and it was very quick, you know, for me, and it's it was great, in a few seconds, of <laughs> about minutes, it, it feels like seconds, but it's of course a minute, and yeah, the bucket was like um, metallic, so, Anyway, so for example, this, you know, and yeah, so this is also my drawing ability that I, I don't feel that I, I was learning it. And then after, afterwards, I I felt the most pulled to, towards drawing realistic, you know, like a, like a, the photograph things. And then I got into university and you know, studying informatics and stuff. So not art <laughs> again, because my mom. But yeah, it was I. I was tuning into my feelings, like uh, if it's okay, you know. I I didn't call them guides or anything, but I felt this like in me, like okay, I I'm not. I don't know what what I want to be, what I was supposed to be, or something in that sense. But I felt like yeah, okay, I can go that road. Uh, so or that route. So okay. Uh, I went there and I met uh, one one friend and uh, yeah, it was like this was really distant you know, like a meeting of also so yeah but I will not go into that but he was also into art and um, also well what's a hipster <laughs> he probably wouldn't say but I I, I I guess he was a really hipster because you know, like uh, being critical about stuff and you know, discussing too much, too much detail that I was not interested in knowing the history of the art and stuff. And uh, yeah, so he was telling me sometimes the stuff like this, and um, uh, he, he said also something like that you know, when, when someone is drawing, like what something like a looks like, you know, there is not nothing creative about it, and so on, and. I was also thinking about it later, like, yeah, like, I, I see the point, but I feel such a pull towards it, you know. Well, and I, of course, I can't say that I was drawing, like, 
often. I always needed some kind of news, news, and now when I look back, all of the stuff that I drew, like occasionally, was actually like this subconscious connection with the shell. So those were my muses when I was drawing something. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and each time when I drew it, I, I was just able to draw it immediately. Like, uh, like a photo, when I have a photograph, it's, it's, it's simple for me, but I didn't train it in a way then. Because when I am, when I a few times just draw something, like it's on a photograph, then, you know, I, I didn't, um, inherit those, uh, like, uh, moves that I could use, for example, with intuitive, uh, drawing. So when I started <laughs> drawing, like a uh, channeling, so it really looks like that. <laughs> so I was feeling that I needed to train, for example, something and so on. Well, I still didn't do it enough but that I, I felt like maybe I should, but when I need it, I, I do it. So, uh, you know, when I, when I feel like I need to, for example, maintain certain, you know, feeling about position and so on. So I check also the references of something, but it doesn't matter. About it, so. Yeah, so this is about because my drawing ability. When I was many times in imagining it, I was uh, much longer about it, much more detailed, so I think it is okay. Um, so yeah, and next time I will be talking about like how it happened that I started to channel. Because it's again different route and it's sometimes joint, and also like I will say something about the processes, you know, when I am channeling what happened to me because I had some activations, for example, some experiences with it are really interesting and so on. Uh, but yeah, like this. So, so next time I will talk about it. So I hope you enjoyed my enough. If you are not interested in this, you know, whatever. I just wanted to record it. So, um, so yeah, if you watch and you're interested, then you can uh, you know check out, or wait for another one that hopefully I will do soon. Yeah, and so yeah, subscribe if you want to you know. I share many different stuff here. They're always different. Uh, I yeah, as I was saying, you know, like months ago, or two months ago, I don't know. That I want to start also video channel. Yeah, that is still like uh, after this, you know, videos that I will talk about stuff. It is right after that. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I need to process also these things that are you know like uh, in that stuck energy that I needed to deliver that I wanted. So so this is already moving that energy towards it. I feel it. So so soon I will start with it also. And so yeah, you can find stuff on Facebook, you know, in the description, so uh, con connection to my website and uh, also to Facebook then, where the pictures, you know, that I am creating right now, and you can also see some development there, uh, I guess, and so um, definitely energy, energy that I, how I was channeling it. It depends also the energy about like for who I am doing it, what they need and so on. Sometimes it can be um, less strong, and of course, it, it's mostly for the person that I am doing it for. So uh, they usually feel most of the energy from it. So yeah, um, check out those in our story if you feel like to, um, or my connection with the shale. I also share that it is intimate if you don't know. <laughs> it's not so for me. It's obviously like a fact, and it is public. So yeah, next time, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day or evening or whatever you are doing. Bye-bye.